Hey everyone, have you ever tried to learn how to code but got stuck? In my new Private Fan programming class, we're going to break that loop. This course is primarily focused on people who are complete beginners, so don't worry if you don't have any background. This course is different than other courses because we're going to teach you to think like a programmer and solve problems like a robot. So let's get started. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first video where we're going to jump into writing our very first program in Python and talk a little bit about Jupyter Notebooks. So congratulations, you've made it here, and in the next couple of minutes you're going to write your very first lines of code, uh, probably in any programming language, so this is a really big step. But before we do that, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're using here as our platform to write code in and how we're going to be coding throughout the course, and, and it's going to be using this Jupyter Notebook. Now, Jupyter Notebook is just one way of writing code. There's a couple of pros and cons to Jupyter Notebooks. I'm not going to go too far into what the differences are between this and some other IDs in this video, but we're just going to talk a little bit about some of the things that you can do with the Jupyter Notebook and why we would want to use a Jupyter Notebook. I think Jupyter Notebooks are really great for exploratory purposes when you're trying to try something out or for training purposes when you're trying to show someone else how to do something. The reason being is that it's interactive, meaning that you can type code in and you'll immediately get output right then and there. And you can do a lot of things iteratively using uh, the framework that Jupyter Notebooks provides. Uh, and you can also share them with other people and the output will stay there over time. So when you run some code and it does something, the output might be a picture, it might be text, that will stay there and other people can see it. So generally, this is why I suggest using Jupyter Notebooks. So the very first thing we're going to talk about Jupyter Notebooks, we're not going to get too far into it in this video. But the first thing we're going to talk about is cells. And you can see here, this thing is highlighted in green. And I have, I have clicked inside of it, this text box. And this is a code cell. The way that you know you're in a code cell is if you see this in and this these brackets here. So we can write code in here. And we'll be able to execute that code using Jupyter, using the Jupyter Notebook. The other thing we're going to notice is up here on the right corner. This symbol is the symbol for Python, meaning that we're writing in the Python programming language. You're going to want to make sure that you have the same thing here. So you have Python 3 up here and this Python symbol. Uh, it might ask you which version of Python you want to use. So make sure you select Python 3 when they ask you, not Python 2. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a hello world statement. In most programming languages and most programming tutorials, hello world is the very first thing you do because it's just a good way to test that everything is working correctly, but also just the very first thing you do in any programming language should be learning how to print something out, which means just getting the computer to return some piece of text. So the way that we do this and what we're going to do is we're going to type print, and this will turn green because Python and Jupyter Notebooks understands what this means. And this is called syntax highlighting when particular areas are colored in a certain way. Basically, this just means Python knows what print means. That's why I turned green. Then we're going to do an open parentheses like this, and it will actually automatically close it for us. Jupyter will do that. And then we're going to make do a single quote, and it will also close that for us. And we're going to write hello world and with an exclamation point. So this is the very first line of code that we're going to write. It's print and then parentheses, single quotes, hello world. And what this is going to do is it's going to print out whatever we put inside of these parentheses. So in this case, it's going to print right back out to us, hello world. It's going to basically tell us in text, hello world, right back out to us. This is the very first thing that most programming tutorials start with because it's the most basic way to interact with a programming language, but also because it's a good starting point. Learning how to print things out to the console is a very useful tool in general. Okay, so how do we run this line of code? The one way to run a cell in a Jupyter Notebook, as I mentioned, this is a cell, is by hitting this run button up here. This run button will run the line of code and create a new cell for you. So we see now we've run the line of code and we got hello world, which is what we were aiming for. Now print can be used with any anything you can put inside of those parentheses and it will print it out for you. Uh, in this case, we've been using strings. That's what those single quotes represent strings, which is really just like text. So we can write any text in here like I am enjoying learning programming. And then we can also run this line of code and it will do the same thing. It will print it out for us. Uh, now, one little tip we're going to go over just in this video um, is that you can actually run lines of code without having to go up here and click on run. You can actually just use shift and enter. So if I write hello world and I hit shift, I hold on shift and I hit enter. I won't have to go up here and click on run. This is a useful one to learn when you're first starting. There's a lot of shortcuts in Jupyter, so don't worry too much about all the different shortcuts you can use. But it's a really good one to get started because you're going to be running cells all the time. 
So yeah, so congratulations. You've just ran your first few lines of code in a programming language and it wasn't too bad, right? You can now officially say that you have ran the hello world statements in, in Python, which is the first step. And from here on out, everything is going to be a little bit easier because you've done this. So you understand how to run a line of code in Python now. Great. Thanks for tuning in. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about Jupyter Notebooks just so we're, so everything makes sense all around and we don't get stuck using the platform rather than learning how to code.